In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy a domain on GoDaddy. I'm going to run you through everything that you need to do step by step. I'm going to buy a domain with you guys and just show you the whole process. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing you need to do, you need to go to GoDaddy.com or go to the link in the description below and it should take you here. Now, once you're on the GoDaddy website, you should see a box here where you can enter in a domain and search for that domain. So first, you need to have a domain in your mind that you want to go ahead and buy. For the video, I'm just going to buy a domain called something like video example 12345 and we'll just see if that's available. So when you search for a domain, it's going to search GoDaddy to see if it's available or not. If it's available, you're going to be able to buy it. If it's unavailable and somebody's already registered it, then you obviously can't buy it. So go ahead and type in your domain here. I've typed in video example 12345 and you can see here video example so on dot com is available. Now, if your dot com domain is available, go and take the dot com option. It's preferred much highly by Google and you'll have a better chance ranking on the first page with a dot com domain. But if you're set on that domain and the dot com isn't available, you can actually scroll down here and you can choose dot info dot store dot net and so on. You can find a domain here that suits your needs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the domain video example 12345.com. I'm going to go ahead and add that to cart. And you can see here it's going to bring up a total amount. So my total amount here is $29.98. Now by default it's going to be on two years. So you can register a domain for one to ten years. So I'm going to register it for one year. Once that year is over you can then go and renew it again. And you can even set it up so it auto renews. So don't worry about that. If you just want it for a year, you can go and do that or you can do 10 years. It's completely up to you. So once you're happy with that, go continue to cart. So inside the cart, GoDaddy are going to try and upsell you some domain privacy and protection. You can see that adds an extra $10 per year and an extra 15 per year. Because this is a video example, I'm not really too bothered about the protection. I'm just going to click no thanks. It's completely optional. You can go and read more about this and decide if it's worth it for you. I can't make that decision for you, but I'm going to click no thanks because this is for a video. I'm going to enable start your website for free and I'm going to opt out of all of these upsells here and then go to the cart again. And here you want to make sure that everything is correct. It's changed itself to two years again. I'm going to change it back down to one year. Just make sure and double check that you spot your domain right because you're not going to be able to change it again. And here you can see we've got a website builder free trial, which I'm actually going to get rid of. And you can get rid of things by clicking on the trash can icon. So now our subtotal is $11.99 for one year's registration of this domain. We're going to go ahead and check out now. Now we can create an account with email, Facebook or Google. I'm just going to make one with email. So now I've done that, it's now taking us to the billing information. You can use PayPal and you can skip all of this. But if you want to pay with card, you can go and enter in your billing information. Then on the next step, you can go ahead and pay with card. I'm going to pay with card for this video because I'll show you how that works. But you can go ahead and pay with PayPal if you want to and speed up the whole process. So here's your chance to have one final look. You've got your domain here. You've got your period that it's going to be active for. You've got your payment method here, your billing information. You've got your subtotal taxes and then the total amount, which in my case is $14.60. I'm now going to go and click on complete purchase. And there we go. Congratulations. Video example 12345 is yours. Let's put your domain to work. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip this setup here. And it should take us to the back end of the domain. So now we can go ahead and go into our domain settings. And here in the DNS settings, you can manage your DNS and link your Namecheap domain to a web hosting server. Now, if you want to make a responsive, high quality website with no technical knowledge, I recommend WordPress and I'll go ahead and link some WordPress hosting in the description below. You can then get really cheap WordPress hosting and link your domain from GoDaddy. So I hope that video helped you out. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe.